What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we are going to be doing a gameplay. So, as you guys can see here, we are currently 11 and 0. We got to 9 and 0 earlier in the month. We actually have not lost a game in the month of February on the PC. But yet, we disconnected at 9 and 0, we disconnected at 8 and 0 before this, and now we are up to 11 and 0. I'm not too fussed about Dr. J, I'd like to use him for squad builders later on in the year, but inevitably we're going to get a diamond, we're going to get a Galaxy Opal Dr. J, so I'm not too worried, and we do already have the Amethyst, but I would like to get the card, it's not a bad card at all, and it's an extra card for the collection. So basically, in this video I'm going to be using what my squad is literally called P2W, which stands for Play to Win. This is what I believe is the most cheesy squad in NBA 2K19, my team. And the point guard, we have got Pink Diamond 98 over a Magic, overall Magic, with a three-point shoe, and D'Antoni coaching. So with Mike D'Antoni coaching, as well as the three-point shoe, this Magic Johnson gets a 99 open shot three. He's also got a decent off dribble and contested shot three, so if you give him an inch of space, he is going to hit shots. A slower release, so he's not going to like completely light teams up like a base 11 shooter but if he gets open he's gonna hit shots and that's a huge thing also he's such a mismatch problem because he's got an unbelievable post hook and a decent post fade away so he can just dominate if someone tries to run an actual point guard and the two we got tracy mcgrady really nice release i don't know why they chose this picture of t mac it looks a little bit ridiculous with his eyes like half closed but this tracy mcgrady is a beast two hall of fame badges limitless range and deep range jedi which are massive massive badges to have he's also a great, great shooter, great shot made, great shot three, incredible dunker, really fast, decent defender, and he's just one of the cheesy cards in the game. The three is Danny Granger, self-explanatory. I played 55 games with this guy. He's one of my most used players. I don't actually like because because I play with loads on loads of different systems. 55 games is a lot for me, but um, just a base 11 shooter who actually has a 99 um, open shot mid with the shooter he has on, and with the coach he goes up to a 90. Not, say 98 open shot three with one of the best releases in the game and it's just a beast of a card and a great defender at the four we got ad ad is one of my favorite power forwards to use he's had eight hall of fame badges eight really good ones including difficult shots he can shoot the mid he can shoot the three he can take it inside he can also block a lot of shots really well got a great steal rating got great lateral quickness for a big and can defend basically anyone and ralph sampson like sometimes i'll use anthony davis at the five and i'll put jason Tatum at the four but ralph sampson's a beast i really like this card i think he's like a poor man's will chamberlain and he's the closest thing you can get the galaxy over wilt without having galaxy over wilt got two hall of fame badges he's seven for four he's got a decent jump shot okay mid okay three he can hit them when he's wide open got a great dunk He's got a really nice block of uh, 95. He's also moderately fast for a center. Got good lateral quickness and he's 7 4. The bent the one we got Kuzma. Kuzma's a beast at point guard. Oh my god, like averaging 9.1 points per game, 7 Hall of Fame badges. He's got, I know he's a power forward, but he's best to be around a point guard, let's be real. He's got a great post and fadeaway so he can dominate like magic. He's got a much quicker release and um, shoots better off the dribble. He's got a great shot, made a great shot three. He has also got a really nice dunk, 86 ball control, 6 speed boost, great block. Um, he's got really good rebounding stats, he's fast, he's got decent lateral quickness, decent or good on ball defense like you've 89, is a beast. Dominique, it's just Dominique, one of the best cards in the game. Attacks the basket really, really well, and I did put uh, good shooting badges on him as well as his really good shooting stats, and he also has a cheesy park release, so he can shoot the ball really well. And he's got some of the best dunk animations in the game, and is a good defender. The three, Karolinko, the best card in the game. There's just, like, just look at these stats. Like, you don't even need to, like, he's got the best animations in the game as well as some of the best stats in the game. Unfortunately, no Hall of Fame badges, but that would just break the card. Gugliata is my favorite base 11 shooter. Of all base 11 ones, he's the one that I hit the most jump shots with. Averaging 10 points per game for me. He played 59 games, so he's actually played the most games of anyone I've used in my squad. He's just a beast. 10 gold badges. And a lot of people are saying, oh, he's just a pick and pop jump shooter. Like, yeah, he's great for that. Great shot, made great shot three. But he's also got a 90 driving dunk and 90 standing. I used to call him Blake Griffin with a jump shot when he first came out. And five at the bench, we've got Hakeem Olajuwon. Hakeem has got, he's, he actually gets killed on the boards, which is a bit weird. But he's a really good mid-range shot. He's actually money from three when he gets out on the catch. And really good shot blocker and not slow, I guess. Then last year at the bench, we've got Brandon Roy. Um, cheesy park release, great three, great mid. He can attack the basket well. He can do basically every on offense. Jason Tatum is a limitless range shooter, who is six eight, can play at the power forward, and is a great three point shooter. And then we've got Yanis because even though I'm not the biggest fan of Yanis, you gotta have Yanis somewhere in your squad. If you want to make the cheesy squad, my team Yanis has to be in it. 
So anyway, yeah. That's the team we were running with. Now let's get on to the game. All right, so we're playing against not a bad squad at all. He's got Wade, who's not the best card. Lillard is a beast. Like, Lillard is genuinely a beast. One of the best cards in the game. One of the best, well, point guys in the game. Jokic can be baited into jump shots. Karlenko's great. And Joe Harris can light me up. So I'm not taking this guy lightly, regardless of what his bench is. Like, his bench is not terrible. It's not the best, but I cannot take this guy lightly. He's got no real weaknesses in the squad. My squad is better, so hopefully I'm all right. Okay, not a fan of the um, fact that he's wearing green. It is very, very annoying. And I know for you guys, it's not going to make a difference. But I'm really badly colorblind, as I say constantly when things like this happen. But for all new viewers, so this is really, really off-putting. Because the jerseys, green and black and black and red, look very, very similar. Like, I can tell the difference between the jerseys. They just do look quite similar to me at times. Good shot, Ranger. There we go. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. Okay, so we are playing against... Oh, okay. This guy's back. Backs. Oh my god. We've never lost to this guy before. This guy, as far as I know, is basically like the PC equivalent of stream sniping. He just sees when I'm online and like tries to snipe me and play me in games. So I'm going to have, like, I should be okay. I've never lost him before. There we go. Nice dunk. Like, this guy's a good player though. I have to admit it. Like, I've beaten him by like one point, by like three points the last couple times I played him. Bang. There we go, Magic. That's a great start to the game. Got him. Easy. Good job. We're starting off this game really well. Good defense. Good hand. Good hand. Force the air ball. Let's leave it at Or that'll do as well. He left me completely open with Danny Granger who knocks down to three. Corner three. Full white. And we knock down another one with Danny Granger. Straight to the basket. Good board. Shooter, great shot there by Gugliata. Let's go. Pick to the corner, great pass. Base 11 shooter, to another base 11 shooter. Gugliata's gonna take over. Okay, now this is a big, big couple of mo uh, minutes in this game. Three ball, good. Let's go. Good hand. It's their board though, isn't it? Oh no, Giannis goes into three on us. Oh, come on. Good cut. Good dunk. So Googly has taken over the game. Good shot. Good shot, Akeem. There we go. It's a big shot right there to make a 10 point game. So Starn is back in. The start is we're killing them. We got Granger back in the game. We're good. We are good. Okay, Anthony Davis. Oh! Anthony Davis! Would you not have just stood under the basket for the wide open layup or dunk? And that's all you had to do was just stand there. All you had to do was nothing. All you had to do was nothing, and you had a basket. But nope, you decided to cut right to where the defender is. 2K logic. No! Get that. No, come on. Oh, good steal. I was really lucky because I was not that far off fouling out in the squatter. Big shot by Karelenko, knocks it down. Go, go cut to the basket. Oh, what a dump by Gugliata. No! Oh my god, that's dumb. That's a three by Giannis, isn't it? It's good. Okay, blow. All right, nine point lead going into the fourth. Should be fine. We should be fine. Let's just play our game. Don't worry about him. He's now baiting me in the passes, and he's actually getting away with it. I'm making dumb passes. I just gotta slow it down, play my game, and not go for the easy baskets because he's baiting me into a lot of stuff. Good shot, Tatum. There we go. Big, big shot right there. Bang. Wide open. Full white. There we go, Dominique. Not the best release. Good job. Three. Full white. Game. 17. No, it's... Why not just throw a chest pass? A routine chest pass would have been perfect. Okay, we got him. Not an easy shot for Gagliata. And he blows it. Why is Giannis playing the point? And that's good, isn't it? Of course it's good. This is a ball game again. Trying to 10-0 run the last minute and a half. Okay, Giannis. No. Oh, we got so lucky. We got so lucky there. Giannis. For three. Okay. Bad shot, but that's probably once again. 
That five hour run was massive. Massive right there. And then he goes and misses a dunk with his Giannis. Granger, for three, good. A 19 point win, we finally got 12 and 0, and I was about to say we're gonna stay unbeaten for the month of February, but there is one more day left in February tomorrow, and also we are gonna be doing like Lamar Zodge gameplay, some other gameplays, so we may not stay um, undefeated, and I probably actually will end up uploading this in a couple of days, and not the day I play it as well. So um, anyway, yeah, we did all right. So in the end, Gigliata had 28 of 11 from the field, um, Ralph Sampson had 13, Kurlenko had 13, Danny Granger had 9, um, Giannis had 9, Anthony Davis had 8, Dominique had 5, uh, Magic Johnson had 8, sorry, Magic Johnson had 4, Hakeem had 4, T-Mac had 3, Jason Tatum had 2, and Kuzma and Brandon Roy didn't score. And now we open our second player of the month, Dr. J. I actually wonder who the next player of the month is going to be. Like it is, well, tomorrow or the next day, depending on when I upload this. So it is not that far away. But yeah, we finally got the Julius Irving card. So anyway, that's the video. This was the squad we used to get the Pink Time Dr. J. One of the cheesiest squads, probably the cheesiest squad you can buy in my team takeout. James Worthy and um, Will Chamberlain. This is probably the cheesiest squad in the game. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.